And now, it's time for The Buzz from Bluey. All right, welcome back, everyone. Today, we are going to be doing one of my favorite activities um, when kids are feeling in that red area of the mood meter. So their heart might be beating fast or feeling uncomfortable, um, specifically worried or anxious. This is a really nice activity to do um, as a way for us to focus on what's happening right now instead of what's happening with some of those worried thoughts that are going on in our head. So for this activity, we are going to be focusing on using our five senses. And so looking at these pictures here, um, we're going to be focusing on our sight, touch, our hearing, our nose, our smell, and then our taste. Um, so I am just going to read this to you and you all can practice as we work through it. So to get started, <clears throat> I want voices off while we're doing this, I should say. To get started, I want you from where you are seated to look around your room and notice five different things that you see. These can be something of your favorite color. This could be something that you think is pretty cool. This could be maybe something that you haven't noticed before. Just notice five things. Keep those five things in your mind. So maybe while you're looking, just quietly count on your fingers. All right. Next, we are going to name four different things we can feel. And for this activity right now, you're still going to be staying where you're seated. You're not going to be getting up. Maybe sometime if you do this in your classroom, you can, but for now, we're going to stay seated. Um, and with things that we feel, it doesn't have to just be with our fingers. Um, right now, when I think about it, I can feel how my shoes are fitting on my feet. I can feel my soft sweater against my arms. I can feel my hair on the back of my neck. Think of four things that you can feel with your body right now. Next, we're going to move on to three things that we hear. And if you listen really carefully, you might be able to hear Mrs. Nyreen's class above me right now marching around. So voice is quiet. What's three things that we hear? All right. Now, these last two can get to be a little bit tricky, especially when we can't move around. But what are two things that you smell? So within your space, what are two things that you smell? Maybe you can smell the book that's sitting in front of you. Maybe you can smell the detergent on your clothing. Maybe you can smell the shampoo in your hair or leftover from the snack you just ate. Notice those two different smells and what they are like for you. All right. Now our last one is taste. You probably do not have food in front of you right now. So I want you to just think about one of the things that you love to eat. Keep that in your mind. Don't share it yet. What's the one thing that you like to eat? And think about how that tastes and what it's like when you bite into it, how that feels in your mouth, and how that tastes on your tongue. All right. So we have done this exercise. It's called our 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 grounding exercise. And after doing this, usually students feel a lot more calm. So now you guys have another tool or another strategy that you can use to help calm down some of those big, strong feelings. Um, especially if we're feeling worried, this is a great one to use to help us just focus on the now 
and calm some of those worried thoughts that we have. Now, let's see those soaring students. <laughs> 